Hello and welcome to this video, my name is Joel and today we're going to be looking at pipes inside TechIt, specifically Buildcraft. Uh, we're going to be going through wooden pipes, cobblestone pipes, stone pipes, iron pipes, gold pipes, um, diamond pipes, obsidian pipes and teleport pipes. So without further ado we can head over to the recipe board and look at how you make them. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is transport pipes. Now, I've put here a little note at the bottom. So, you need to replace the wood with the material of the transport pipe that you want to create. For example, if you want to create an obsidian pipe, all you have to do is replace the wooden planks uh, with obsidian and that will create it. The glass will always remain in the center and that is literally all there is to uh, transport pipes. Now, for the teleport pipes, you require two diamond gears and glass. And it's still in the same shape as before, but it's not the material, obviously. We're using diamond gears instead this time. Um, and that is pretty much it. Note that you get eight with two diamond gears because they are very resource heavy to make a diamond gear. So yeah, let's head back into game. Okay, so now that we know how to make them, we're going to have a look at different scenarios where things can be used. I'm going to walk you through how to speci how, specifically how to use them uh, and all that kind of stuff and, and talk about the, what they do. So, first one here then is the wooden pipe. Now, wooden teleport pipes, transport pipes, not teleport pipes, um, wooden teleport pipes, they're not even called that, are they? Wooden transport pipes are pipes that extract uh, blocks and things inside chests or inside a container of some sort. They take the blocks or the items out of the chest uh, or the container and pass it along. So we'll have a look at that now. In here I've got a chest just full of items. You'll see why they're all in that group in a minute. So... Okay, out comes a piece of dirt, as you can see, lots of pieces of dirt, and that is how we extract uh, from a container. You have to have a wooden pipe first, and it has to be powered by an engine. Now, you're already seeing the next one here, cobblestone transport pipes are literally just pipes used to transport blocks around. Uh, they have no other use other than to move blocks. Um, now, this here is called an iron pipe. Now, iron pipes are basically pipes which have an output, so everything that comes in you can see all the blocked kind of ones are where stuff will come in and the the clear one is where everything goes out that's the output you can change the output by right clicking the iron pipe with a wrench like so and you can see it will change the direction of where the blocks and items are going to go so now they will come straight in and go straight out they, it won't look to go that way and it won't look to go this way because they're both blocked uh, but the clear one is the way it will go through so it's like a junction if you like and as you see it will go straight through now, next one. This is a gold pipe. It needs to be powered by redstone or some form of power. Not Yeah, redstone. Uh, you can see I've used a redstone torch here. And basically this will speed things up. Now, um, that is pretty much the only function I think. You'll see it makes it go a lot faster. Yep. Our meat that goes straight along and up. And then, right, we come to this interesting contraption. Now you can see all the dirt is going into this chest. Now that is for good reason. This is a diamond filter. And the diamond filter, diamond filter, is that what it's called? Let's find out. Diamond transport pipe. These are all transport pipes, and I should really start calling them that. Um, now, basically, this is what I like to call a filter, because that's exactly what it is. And when we right-click our filter, we'll get this here. Hey, it is called filters. I was just getting confused. Right, now we've got lots of different colors. Now, we have red, blue, green, yellow. Don't need to tell you how to color. Right. Now... You can see each color that you, when you right click, these colors correspond to a colored splotch inside. I've never used that word before, splotch. Um, you can see there's a black one there, green there, blue there, yellow there, and red there. Now the reason that the dirt went into this chest, 15 pieces of that went in, is because the dirt here, you only need to place a single piece of dirt in, is assigned to the red. So it says, right, all dirt needs to go in red. So shoot the dirt along into this chest. If it was cobblestone, it would have gone blue and it would have gone into there. Um, now that is the basic filter. If you wanted to send it back down again through the pipe and maybe do something else with it, uh, you can use the black one. And I'm assuming clear is just a spare slot, which may go out the top. Maybe that would come up. Yeah, if you probably, if you attached, let's try it. I can't do it now because I've got my... Yeah, if you were to have one coming out the top, you'd use the clear one or the white one. Okay, now that is pretty much it for those pipes. Ah, I didn't talk about the stone pipe. I purposely skipped this one. Stone pipes, all they are is they are they won't attach, if I show you. They won't attach to cobblestone pipes. They won't stick. So it's basically a way of separating two pipes. Handy if you want to do something like this. 
like if you wanted to have pipes alongside each other because if we used normal stone pipes here they'd just get stuck uh, stick to each other so that's what they're used for also they have one other use um, stone pipes it's getting dark oh, I forgot to put the cheat mode on Remove that filter. Um, stone pipes also retain the speed. Uh, for you, the speed boosted from a gold pipe, it will retain it slightly better than a normal cobblestone pipe would. So if you had this shooting along and you had another uh, cobblestone going really far, the gold one, when the gold pipe pipes it through, it will go faster and continue this, a, a faster speed. It won't go on forever, but it will continue a faster speed uh, through the stone pipe, and not the cobblestone pipe. Right, this one here is the next one, and this is our obsidian pipe. Now the obsidian pipe is basically used to extract blocks. This is one a lot of people get excited about. This is probably one of the coolest ones. I like it the most. Um, well, other than teleport pipes, which we'll get to in a minute. Now what this does is, let's say you've got a mob spawner, and or a mob trap thing in the bob, mob spawner trap, and it's killing, say, skeletons. Um, now all those bones are going to drop on the floor, and you could have it all pointing to one block. And that block could be right here. Um, if I throw a block in the radius uh, here of the obsidian pipe, you will see it picks it up. Now, ideas should be shooting to your head about what you could do with this, because it's literally, there's so many possibilities you could do if you can pick stuff up and put it straight into a pipe via obsidian pipes, so yeah. Now, I've put leaves in there, so what will happen is the only one that I haven't assigned to the filter is the black one. Um, so it will shoot straight back down, and I don't want it to do that, so I'm going to remove that. Okay, finally then. So that's that one. The, f the last one um, today that I'm going to be showing you is the teleport pipe. Um, now, top that back up. That no, doesn't matter. Um, right, this one. Basically, we have two pipes here, two teleport pipes. Okay, this is the first one, and this is the one where our items are going to come from. So you can see this wooden pipe. It's going to take the items out of the chest and it's going to come into this teleport pipe. Then, what we want it to do is come straight through this teleport pipe and continue down and go over there. Now, uh, in order to do this, we have to get through a few little things. If we right click, let me just remove my wrench. If we right click it, what you're going to see is we've got a few things. We've got frequency, connected pipes, and can receive. Uh, obviously the owner there as well, but that's not important. Um, that is my Minecraft username, by the way, Joel Kid. Don't know why I use my real name. I must have been a little bit... Feeling stupid at the time. If it was now, I'd use JSKid3 because that's the username I've kind of been using over the last few months since I started using it. Right, frequency. Frequency is basically, um, you can see, connected pipes one. You have to put the teleport pipes on the same frequency. Okay, so these two pipes, we want them both to work. Um, so you can see we're going to use the same frequency. As you can see, when we got 50, connected pipes one because they're both on 50. 49, zero. Um, so that's how that works. Now, obviously... You don't want three. If let's say you put a you say you made another system somewhere else with two other tra teleport pipes. You don't want to use the same frequency there because you don't want those ones to teleport to this one. If that makes any sense. So you should only use you know use it in pairs or, or just think about the frequency when you're doing that. It works very similar to from it, very similarly to the uh, frequency how it works in real life. It's the same sort of thing. Um, so that's that. Now the can receive property here. Basically, the can receive is the one that you want the stuff to go to. So this one's this one's taking the stuff out of there, and it's coming from here, and it's going into here. So you want this one to be receiving. As you can see, I've already set it to true there, and you just use the switch button to do that. So now, when we power it up, you should see. Just give it a minute. There we go. You can see the dirt already coming out, and we'll power this one up as well now. And we'll have a look at the whole system going. Through comes our dirt. And if I head over here, you should see, zoom in with the control button, by the way, someone asked a comment the other day, uh, it's part of Optifine, which comes with TechIt. Um, you press control to zoom, and as you can see, it will go straight through, and down, through the teleport pipe. Fantastic if you're going and jumping over long distances, um, and it works beautifully. So you don't have to get, let's say you've got an oil pump or something, you don't want to have to do a pipe over the whole world. Um, you can use those to to help you out. Um, right, now as you can see, all the stuff is coming up and filtering off the dirt. I'll show you the cobblestone now because it's about to hit. Any second now. Right, up comes the cobblestone. And cobblestone went into blue because cobblestone is set to blue there. All you need to do is literally just chuck a block in like that. 
see we've already defi defined our wood so we don't want to go back down. Um, okay, I think that is pretty much it. What I wanted to say about these teleport pipes is that uh, this is single player I'm playing on at the moment. Teleport pipes are a little bit buggy in multiplayer. They don't work perfectly. Now, I'm going to give you a few things to test and get around if you're trying to use it on multiplayer. Now, what tends to happen is on Minecraft or on TechIt, chunks unload if you're not in them to save space and save room on you, you know, to make stop you from lagging and all that kind of stuff. Now, what we have to do, so you can see here, teleport tether. This won't be on the crafting the recipe board, so I'm going to show you now. Um, this is a teleport tether. That's how you make it. And basically a teleport tether keeps a chunk loaded. Um, now, this will happen on single player as well. This is important to note. Um, if I go back here. If your teleport... This is what you should do if your teleport pipe isn't working. Why isn't that? Oh, I've got to come off of it, haven't I? If your teleport pipe isn't working and it's not, they're not coming through or whatever and it's all going a little bit weird. What I'd like you to do is place a teleport tether here and a teleport tether at your other pipe. Now what this does is it will keep the chunks loaded. You don't have to power it with redstone or any of that kind of thing. Um, this will keep the chunks loaded and it will stop like the, the pipes working when you're not there. So if your thing is miles away and you're not loaded in the same chunk, these things can help you. I don't have a huge um, amount of knowledge on these teleport tethers. They were originally called just chunk loaders, I think, or just chunk loaders, I can't remember. Um, but teleport tethers... Um, may fix your problem and will keep the chunks loaded if you have issues. Um, these teleport pipes are the hardest to get around. They are a little bit buggy. Um, if you're working close distance like this, it works perfectly. Um, but yeah, we just check it here. We got 50 stone, 50 cobble, 50 wood, and 50 dirt, just like we asked. It's all filter off perfectly. Um, if there are pipes that you'd like me to go over, I know I haven't gone through every single pipe, like waterproof pipe. The waterproof pipes work in the exact same sort of way, to be honest. Um, we have a look here. If I go through the waterproof pipes now with you, just so you can get an idea. Wooden waterproof pipe, again, it's to take stuff out of... Um, st in fact, no, I won't go through it now because I can't be 100% sure about that and I don't want to confuse people. If you would like me to go through other pipes, please leave a comment uh, about which pipe you'd like a tutorial on and I'm sure I could uh, do that. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up or some sort of feedback. You've probably seen I've normally put a thing up in the top left corner anyway. Um, I really appreciate all the feedback I've been getting. Thank you to all the subscribers. Uh, the channel is really starting to grow quite fast now. Um, they got like 50 subscribers in the last three days, which is really awesome, and I love seeing that. It's brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. That was nice. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.